Advancing urbanization around the world requires the construction of modern infrastructures to create new connections in and between metropolitan areas. For this, our tunneling technology is paving the way underground safely and efficiently. EPB shields, with their concept of earth pressure support, are all-rounders for soft, cohesive soils of all kinds. A fast tunneling technology with a broad application range. With its rotating cutting wheel, the tunneling machine breaks and removes the material from the tunnel face. The material is then transferred to the backup of the machine, while the hydraulic cylinders continuously push it forward. The reinforced concrete lining segments are installed under the protection of the shield. The machine pushes itself off the newly built tunnel ring. The backup accommodates all logistics facilities necessary for the operation of the overall system. The working principle of an EPB shield consists of two phases, the tunneling phase and the ring building phase. During the tunneling phase, the cutting wheel is pressed against the tunnel face by means of hydraulic cylinders. Electric motors drive the cutting wheel, creating a drilling torque. Under this high pressure and torque, the high-strength steel disc cutters and cutting knives loosen the material at the tunnel face. If necessary, the soil can be conditioned with water, bentonite, or foam. The conditioning medium is injected with the help of nozzles integrated into the cutting wheel. The soil is pressed into the excavation chamber by the existing earth and groundwater pressure. For shield tunneling in non-stable soils, the tunnel face is stabilized by creating a support pressure with the excavated soil. The support pressure is transmitted by the hydraulic cylinders via the bulkhead to the soil, which avoids an uncontrolled penetration. The soil is transported with a screw conveyor driven by a hydraulic motor from the invert of the excavation chamber to a belt conveyor. The quantity of the soil taken from the excavation chamber is regulated by the screw conveyor's rotational speed in accordance with the advance rate. The aim is to maintain an equilibrium between the quantity of soil removed by the screw conveyor and the quantity of soil accumulated from the tunneling process. This guarantees optimum support of the tunnel face. The system must be able to react flexibly to the permanently changing geological conditions. Therefore, the system parameters are continuously controlled with the help of pressure sensors. By measuring the face support pressure, cutting wheel torque and the screw conveyor torque and by monitoring the excavated material. When the tunneling phase is completed, cutting wheel and screw conveyor are stopped. The ring building phase starts in the shield area under atmospheric conditions. A tunnel ring consists of several lining segments. In the front section of the backup, the segments are lifted individually by a special transfer crane. Lifting them onto the segment feeder which transports the elements to the front of the tunnel. Here, the heavy segments are picked up and positioned by a hydraulically controlled crane arm called the erector using vacuum plates. The erector is mounted on two rails and can be moved longitudinally, rotated, and telescoped. The erector lifts the stone from the segment feeder. The hydraulic cylinders are then retracted from the corresponding installation position. The segment is positioned precisely against the previous ring. During this process, machine and tunneling personnel are protected by the shield against the earth pressure and possible groundwater. The rear part of the shield, the so-called tailskin, is equipped with a circular tailskin sealing between the steel structure of the shield and the segment ring, ensuring the necessary sealing between the interior working space and the exterior earth and water pressure. The remaining annular gap between the outer side of the lining segments and the soil is continuously filled with grout via injection holes in the tail skin or in the lining segment in order to provide a stabilizing bed for the tunnel tube. Complex logistic solutions are required to deal with such quantities of material. The backup is pulled behind the shield machine on rubber wheels which brace against the tunnel wall and which are steered autonomously. Among other things, the gantries accommodate hydraulic power units, pumps, 
switch cabinets, ventilation systems, laser instrumentation, and storage containers for soil conditioners. In addition, logistic solutions for the delivery of the lining segments and the removal of the excavated material are located here. All important data and tunneling parameters are visualized in the central control cabin. The operator can monitor the largely automated process and intervene if necessary. Traditionally, earth pressure balance shields made by Heron Connect are in their element in cohesive soils consisting of clay and silt with low water permeability. Moreover, loose soils consisting of sand and gravel and unstable rock can also be successfully mastered with the EPB technology.